By the time the guns fell silent in this first great war of heavily mechanized fighting, about a billion shells had been fired. Millions of them never exploded, lodging in the countryside. Today it's known by farmers as the iron harvest. They constantly gather shells, shrapnel, gas canisters and bullets from their fields. Many of these are even more dangerous than ever. It's a harvest that carries risks for people living across what was the Western Front, requiring the use of bottled water in some creches and pregnant women to be cautious. This young woman almost lost her leg when a shell exploded during a camping trip in the Flanders countryside. In other incidents dealt with by a specialist Belgian Army bomb disposal squad, there has been death. The victims this time, two building workers, killed near Ypres earlier this year. A hundred years on, these fields are still giving up their weapons of destruction and the bodies of men who died here. And those involved in the clearance work say their job will continue for many years to come. Barbara Cardoan is a young farmer who, with her father, works the land at Varlet Farm. She shows us some of their iron harvest. Here you have, well, pieces of shells. So that's a big one. That's also quite a big one filled up with, well, dirt. Uh, a lot of pieces of iron, of course, uh, pieces of nose cones, things like that. So sometimes while my dad is plowing on the field, uh, the shells or a grenade or something else comes up and the shell still can be live. And then we have to call the police. The police comes to check it and then they contact the bomb disposal. And the bomb disposal then comes onto the farm to collect the dangerous shell or grenade or whatever we have found. Now, in a new century, this lethal and toxic legacy is still being tackled and destroyed virtually every day in the fields reclaimed from desolation and ruin. Donald Byrne, RTE News, Flanders.